They can't even paint the, the Renaissance. They painted white images of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Okay, they had the, all the, the wealth that they stole from our people. So we lost all these things. We, we, we lost who we are. Our true and living Savior. A lot of our people, you know, they, 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 they would die for that white image. Okay, we had uh, our people that, that tried to fight us or attack us because they saw us step on a white image. Come on. And without an ephod and without teraphim. Afterwards, afterwards, come on. Shall the children of Yashar Allah return and seek Yahweh their power? Why? Right, so when they talking about, they said Israel is one of the largest um, formation of, of what they say religion out there. A lot of people come out coming into this word. Okay, they said we seek the Most High power. That's why the Most High want us to do what. We're not asking for 40 acres and two mules going in the United Nations asking to be free. The scriptures say that what we're going to take the kingdom. You think the, you think the white man's going to say, okay, yeah, you guys can go? No. Once um, I remember when I was a younger man teaching, I was on 86th Street, and there was a white couple that came up, and they said, you know what? We agree that what our ancestors did to your ancestors, we we know it was a horrible thing. But they said, you know what, we don't mind everything staying the way it is because their greatest fear is that we're going to get back in the rulership and do to them what they did to us. <laughs> that a, lot of, a lot of the time these white people do things out of fear because they know in their spirit, they know what, what they did was wrong. They know the slave all this thing because they, them themselves could not have lasted like we lasted. They would have been finished. If the white man loses money in the stock market, he commits suicide. Look at all the atrocities. The scriptures, the scriptures tell you that. No other nation under the, under the heaven could have, have any atrocities that like have been done un, like unto Israel. I don't care if the white man, you know, this nation talks about this, Nakasaki, Hiroshima. This the other day they had... Um, uh, What's that? Uh, Kerry went over there to Japan. He had some uh, some memorial for Nakasaki Hiroshima. Obama was there too. Obama was there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think he, he didn't apologize, but Kerry did. Okay? But who's talking about the Holocaust of the Negro? Nobody's out there. Well, let's get a reparation. Uh, that was a, 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 a atrocity, an awful thing what they did to the Negro. Who's, who's standing up for our defense? Nobody cares what happened to us. But the white man said, even our leaders don't care about us, so why would we care? Right. Your Al Sharpton, your Creflo Howlers, your TD Snakes, okay? <laughs> they set these men up, okay, to take our people's money to teach them lies. But the scriptures say what? Our people say what? Prophesy to us smooth things, okay? They want to be lied to. They like to, like to see the pastor do a moonwalk on the stage. There was one video when I saw people this throwing money on the stage, and uh, Creflo and another guy was, was moonwalking on the stage, and, and the, the more they moonwalked, the more money they was throwing up there. <laughs> yeah, and put it in their pocket. Come on. And David, their king, and shall fear Yahweh. You gonna do what? Fear Yahweh. Right, so that's what the elder thought one was talking about earlier, about fearing the Most High, the fear of the Most High. And when is this going to happen? Come on. And his goodness in the latter days. When is this going to happen? In the latter days. And where are we right now? In the latter days. In the latter days. That's right. Okay. So the, they push in their they gay agenda, the transgender. But while all this is happening, that's why the scriptures say um, in Ezekiel that the Most High is raising up an exceedingly great army. Right under their noses. While they passing all their gay laws and every the most side is, is allowing us to get ourselves. That's why all these summits are, are being here. So we are becoming men. Okay? Learning how to control money, how to be in government, how to deal with our families, how to deal with each other. This is all parts of being a nation. Okay, so you know, we're gonna be drafting, okay, for these departments. But, you know, like I said, you know, it, it took time to process to, to see who fits where.
And a lot of us, a lot of brothers here, we get to learn each other. You know, we'll find out which department, you know, will be a good fit for you as well. But don't wait to be drafted, okay? Do this thing willingly, voluntarily. Okay, because Esau, he's getting rid of this third world war. What is he going to do? Right now they passed a law that women now have to register for selective service. So what does that mean? Esau, when a war breaks out, they're going to have sending women out there to fight. Because Esau is a coward. That's right. Okay, so with that... So, come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. So, uh, we had another productive summit uh, again, Akim, and that's all prayers to the Most High, Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shai, that we had another productive summit. We got a lot of things accomplished, didn't we? A lot of things accomplished, a lot of things were brought out uh, to build and to build the structure of the Yasha Allah. So we thank the Most High for that. You see this paper here? And we're gonna have a few more brothers come up, okay? Shakya, Kazakya, and uh, Shofa. All right, so there's a few more and that's gonna be it. Come. Uh, but before we get them brothers, you see this paper that we gave you? Gun. Uh, and it says, Masharaya Sha'ala Code of Ethics. This is the premise and the basis for what the Masharaya Sha'ala is based on. Gun. But as you can see, it's all what? It's all scriptures, Akim, right? But if you notice these scriptures, it's all based on what the Mashiach Yahushua told us, okay? How to love thy brethren and what not to do against thy brother. Okay? All right, just, just be careful, Ak. Let's, you know, Satan got to throw his thing in there somewhere. Okay? Anybody, nobody got hurt in that, right? Okay, right. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, chauffeur. Come here, chauffeur. You're going to read this thing again. In the Josephus, this is what it says. All right. When we get, when we were dispersed amongst the nations and scattered throughout the nations, right? What we should do as uh, uh, as Israelites, how we're supposed to come together and correspond. All right, go ahead, show for this is uh, what book in Josephus, book four, chapter eight, section seven. Go ahead, show for read that for us. And it reads, "Let those that live as remote as the bounds of the land which the Hebrews shall possess come to that city." where the temple shall be, and this three times in a year, that they may give thanks to Yahweh for his former benefits, and may entreat him for those they shall want hereafter, and let them, by this means, maintain a friendly correspondence right. with one another by such meetings and feastings together. For it is a good thing for those that are of the same stock and under the same institution of laws not to be unacquainted with each other, That's right. which e acquaintance will be maintained by thus conversing together and by seeing and talking with one another, and so renewing the memorials of this union. For if they do not thus converse together continually, they will appear like mere strangers to one another. Hallelujah. 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 See what the most I said? That we're supposed to maintain a friendly correspondence with one another. Okay? And yeah, we're not in our land Jerusalem, but we're here in, in, in the Western Hemisphere. But you can still maintain that friendly correspondence and converse with one another like we're supposed to. Con? Right. So, so in this code of ethics, we're not going to read all these scriptures. But as you can see, um, uh, this says, Israelite men of honor, right? Brotherhood codes of ethics, God. right? And these codes of ethics are scriptures that Yahweh Shai based how we should come back together and deal with our brethren, deal with unity, deal with coming together on one accord. God. So that's why everybody got a copy and everybody should read this. Because if you're not doing this, Right? Then you alienating yourself, you're separating yourself from the brotherhood of Israel and what your Mashiach Yahushai teaches us. You're separating yourself. This is how this Masharat Sha'ala, this government is gonna be built off what your Mashiach Yahushai taught us to do. Come? 
Right. So, uh, who can read? Give me a reader. Go ahead, brother. Stand up. And we're not going to read all of them. I'm going to just read a couple. Uh, that first one says, First John, see it? 323? Yes, read that off the paper. And this, is his, and this is his commandment, that we shall believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Oh, who? Believe in who? Yahweh Shai. The Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So, we as a Mashiach, uh, Yasha Allah, believe in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Come? That's what this is all about. Lifting up Yahweh Shai. Lifting him back up. Okay? Over the nation. Alright? And the whole earth. Over the nation of Israel, but ultimately over the whole earth. Alright? And we are the leaders that Yahweh Shai going to choose to run this earth. Come? Okay? Go ahead, huh? And love one another. As he gave us commandments. How about that? To love one another is a commandment, Akim. You get that, Con? It's a commandment. This ain't no less old fly by night scripture. This is a command. So if you're not if you're not gonna follow that command, you're breaking the law. Okay, of Yahweh Shah, you're breaking the law. Con? Okay. Uh and then we're gonna go down to uh, uh code eleven. Uh, and tell them what scripture you at. Code 11. Code 11. This is John chapter 13 and verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one another. Okay, come. So, what is your house shy saying there? How are our people are going to know that we are the leaders, the disciples, the apostles of the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. How are they going to know what they say? saying? That you do what? Love, love one another. It has to come out of love, brother. Okay? It has to come out of love. That's how they're going to know. So the only way we can build this structure, this Mashiach Allah, is out of love and unity for one another. That's the only way, Akim. There is no other way, okay? So like the brothers were saying earlier, if you if you out there and you're separating yourself and you individualize your school and, and think you don't have to communicate or network with other schools and come to other schools, well then you're alienating yourself. That means what? What you're doing is you're not for uh, the brotherhood, all right? And the uh, coming together of the nation of Israel. You're